I smile a smile I've been saving up for her. I unclasp my fist in front of her, my big reveal. Two red berries, just longer than olives. We chew the pulp away from the pits and swirl it around in our mouths to coat as much of the surface as we can. It tastes like almost nothing. The secret, I tell her, is a glycoprotein, uncreatively named miraculin, which binds to the taste buds and blocks bitter and sour compounds. The properties, of course, were known long before the mechanism. By the time I've finished my pedantry, it's taken effect. We sat upon the lemon tree. We bite into them without peeling them. The insides taste like lemonade. The white pith tastes like meringue. We eat whole lemons this way, not bothering to spit out the seeds. I yank other things out of the garden. Arugula, which now tastes like some kind of crazy herb sorbet. Rhubarb, like raspberry jam. Ras radishes, like sweetened ice. But we go back to the lemon tree. It seems to be what this was made for. Ambrosia, jellied light bulbs. The miracle doesn't stop our bellies from feeling full, from growing hot with acid. But we keep going. The miraculin lasts about 30 minutes. We start to pucker as the lemons turn back into lemons. We look at each other and laugh. But it's hard to keep up the merriment as we feel our teeth ache, our throats burn, our stomachs roil. And the truth that we've just gorged on raw lemons becomes once again unavoidable. <laughs>